Welcome to the Peninsula Library System's new online catalog. Today's video will cover how to place holds, pay fines, renew your checkouts, and manage your shelves. To get started, visit catalog.plsinfo.org and select your library from the drop-down menu. You may use any of the libraries on this list. Today we'll use Redwood City Public Library. As any regular library user knows, the library doesn't always have the book you want right away. Say I heard about a great new title at work. I go on my local library catalog, search for this title, but I see that it's not available at any of the libraries at the moment. This isn't a problem. I can click place a hold and just enter my username and four digit PIN. Log in and I'll be able to choose where to pick this book up from any of the libraries in San Mateo County. The service will cost 75 cents, but it's totally worth it to save gas and time. I can visit my dashboard by clicking My, the name of the library, and check the status of my holds. I can also take care of some other business while I'm there. First, I can show how to renew your checkouts. Under this top section, you can click the link next to any of the numbers and see your checked out items. On this screen the due date for each item will be shown. You'll need to select items before you can renew them. You can do this by checking the box or by selecting everything on the page. If you check out a lot of items, note that there may be more than one page worth of items. So I can check this box and click renew and at the top of the screen I'll see a notification that the renewal was successful. If another patron has an item you want to renew on hold, or it has been renewed too many times, you'll see a pop-up notifying you that you cannot renew. Now we'll check on the status of our holds. Just like due dates, green text is good, it means a hold is ready to pick up. Orange will show you that the hold is in transit. Red text shows a hold that is not ready yet. You can change your mind still about where you'd like to pick these up. Checking the box next to an item on hold will allow you to either suspend or cancel the hold. Suspend a hold when you are not ready for it yet, as it will keep your place in line if the hold has not been sent to you. After holds, we can take a look at the fines. If you click down at the fine level, you'll be able to see the individual charges on your account. 75 cent charges that say requests in the first line are hold fees. These are added to your account when you request a book. If you have recently renewed items that were overdue or placed holds, click the refresh button to make sure that your charges listed are up to date. To pay fines, you can use the link on the right hand side of the screen. Next up, we'll take a look at your shelves. Under my name of your library, you can choose my shelves from the second column. Here, you'll be able to keep track of whatever you're checking out and reading. To start adding items to your shelves, click Add Title, and you can search for anything in the library's collections to add to any of your three shelves, regardless of whether you have read the item or just are interested in it. When you find results that you want to put on a shelf, on the left side of the screen, just click on Add. Once you've added an item to one of your shelves, you now have quick access to do a number of things with it. You can place a hold, you can move it between the shelves. For this one, it might make sense to put it on the four later shelf since I just placed it on hold. Under the Add Details option, I can do all sorts of things, such as mark an individual item private while the rest of the shelf is public, or editing details such as my own comments, reviews, tags, and summaries of the book. There's a lot that you can do here to share with other patrons and a lot that other patrons will have shared with you. Remember that while you may use the completed shelf, you also have access to in progress and for later shelves. I can also show you lists. Lists are something that you can create with up to 32 items on each. You can make as many lists as you want, unlike the limit of three shelves that you have. To check out some great lists, look under the Explore menu at your library's staff picks. We hope you enjoy all these great new features, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact your local library.